Okay, this is section two of chapter 14 and Gregory Mancu. And now we're looking at a big table here that looks at the price, quantity, total revenue, total cost, profit, margin revenue, and marginal cost. Now here we want to see where the firm is going to produce. Now if we look at the standard of total revenue and total cost, we can see that the maximum profit or the greatest distance between um, TR and TC is going to be at a quantity of four. But at a quantity of four, our profit is seven, but if you can see over to the margin revenue column, the margin revenue is equal to six and the margin of cost is equal to five. The firm is earning one more dollar um, relative to the cost. So should the firm produce one more? The answer is absolutely. The firm, um, and the firm can get away with producing one more. So really the firm should produce five. They'll make another seven dollars, but at this point the margin revenue is equal to the marginal cost. Um, and so one can look at total revenue, total cost, but really it's the margin that is the most important. Okay, so firm produces at a quantity of um, five in this case, where MR is equal to MC. And we can see graphically, that is what's going on. Um, you can notice now that the demand curve for the individual firm is horizontal and the firm maximizes profit by producing the quantity at which marginal cost equals marginal revenue. So you can see the upward sloping MC curve with the MR equals price equals average revenue. <coughs> okay. Now, and that's, that's right, if, um, if the firm is producing at this point where MC1 and Q1, marginal revenue is greater than marginal cost, firms should produce more. If, on the other hand, firm is producing where the blue line is, MC and Q2, now marginal cost is greater than MR, firms should reduce um, production. So it's kind of a seesaw, and we go back and forth until we hit MR is equal to MC. So this slide just reemphasizes profit maximization occurs where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. And this slide just kind of reemphasizes where MR is greater than MC, increase quantity where MR is less than MC, decrease quantity. And you produce up to the point where marginal revenue is equal to marginal cost. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to have a graph that puts it all together. And all together is... You know, the firm and the market, price for the firm, price for the market, quantity for the firm, quantity for the market. Now this is the initial equilibrium for the firm and for the market. And you can see the monitor cost and the price for the f that the firm faces, which is the market price, and the quantity. So right now, the firm is has selling at a price of $10, quantity of 10 units, their total revenue is $100. Now you can see that margin revenue <coughs> is equal to margin cost, so you produce a point A, but from a profit perspective, the um, total revenue is going to be greater than the total cost. You can see it from the line, price is above average total cost. Remember, or maybe I didn't state it before, 
that total cost is equal to average total cost times quantity. So, if we have an average total cost of $7 here, $7 times 10 units is going to be equal to 70. Total revenue is equal to uh, 100, so our profit is equal to 30 at this point. So, that profit is equal to 30. What is going to happen? Well, this is going to be a signal for other firms to come in. As they come in, they are going to produce more quantity. Now we have Q2, and that is going to bring down the price. Down to, let's say, I have it here listed at a price of 7. So that is going to, re that's going to re mean more product for the consumer, but a lesser price for the individual firm. They're now forced to produce, um, charge a price of seven, and, um, <clears throat> and they're going to be producing less as well to maintain MR equals MC. Alright, so it still looks like they're making a little bit of profit there. So, you know, more firms will come in, price will go down to point C. There we go, there we go. And price will eventually go down to D. So this is unfortunately a tale of woe for the firm. The firm makes profit and then eventually, um, <clears throat> the profit will be lost out as long as everyone is producing the exact same product. Now, um, point C and point D, kind of important. Point D is the shutdown point. Point C is, shall we say, the break-even or the ultimate profit point. We'll look at these two points in the next section.